name is Georgie and this is my guide dog Candy. We're here outside Derby College in Mackworth and we're here to find out about the sport that is wheelchair basketball. So let's go inside and find out what it involves. This is the sports hall where the world ladies practice. So let's go inside and find out what's happening. Facts about wheelchair basketball. This is one of the custom built wheelchairs which are tailor made for each individual. They are lightweight, very strong and can be very, very expensive. This basketball is the same as the one they use in the running game. This basketball hoop is the same height as the one in the running game. What's it like being in a wheelchair? Uh, well, I'm not actually, I'm sitting in a wheelchair now, but I don't actually use a wheelchair. I lost my leg years ago, but I walk with crutches, so the only time I actually use a wheelchair is for fun. Well, um, I don't, I'm not a wheelchair user normally, so when I play basketball, it took a little bit of getting used to. Um, but now, once I start playing, it feels quite comfortable. How did you get involved in this sport? I've been around basketball since I was five, so through my dad, because he's been playing since he was disabled himself when I was 17. I joined it for fitness because I was a bit tubby when I first came here, so I joined it to lose a bit of weight. But um, no, I, I came here and I like playing competitively, I like playing all over England, it's good fun. Well, um, my, one of my friends who's also a dwarf like me, he, I watched him play a game of wheelchair basketball and um, I really enjoyed it. I played the running game for more than 30 years and it got to the point where I couldn't really run comfortably anymore. And the club that I'm involved with, the Trailblazers, um, came along to the launch of the Wheelblazers. And they had lots of chairs. They had somebody there who brought some extra chairs, and everyone was encouraged to have a go. So I thought, oh, I'll have a go at this. Training. We have the juniors training at uh, first, and I help to coach them. Everybody doesn't do what I say because I'm the coach, so <laughs> that's quite normal. Um, but no, we, uh, we run a lot of fitness, a lot of uh, ball control, and uh, a lot of skills. Uh, chair skills which people that don't use chairs use but also basketball skills which people that might not be in a, in a chair can tend to excel at so it doesn't matter where you're coming from you both enjoy it. I enjoy all of it. Um, I like doing shooting and training but mostly all of it. I like doing the game at the end because it's really fun. And then we have the seniors training after that so we're joining with that. Uh, we have extra training, especially for the National League teams. Uh, so we do warm-up, we work on our basic skills, we work on teamwork and preparing for matches. What do the matches involve? The matches? Um, yeah, the matches are really good. They're very competitive, but also played in a good manner. A few of the players actually play in the National League, so it's a lot like the Football League. We play some pretty competitive matches. There are some very experienced players in the league. Rules, similar or different? If you know anything about basketball anyway, the rules are basically exactly the same. We play on the same size court, we play uh, with baskets at the same height, we use the same balls. Um, the, obviously the objective is to get the ball into the hoop and you get points that way. And um, The only difference from the running game of basketball is that we use, use wheelchairs. Almost all the rules are the same except obviously uh, when it comes to dribbling the ball. In the running game, once you've finished bouncing the ball, you have to stop. You can't then start dribbling it again. But in the wheelchair game, you can. As long as you only make two pushes, then you have to bounce it, you can hold it, and you can push it again. And obviously you can't run into people with your chair, at least not too hard, <laughs> not when the referee's looking. What is the point system? Um, it all depends on your mobility. Um, I'm I'm able body, so I'm classified as a five pointer because I can I can just get out my chair and walk as a normal person. Whereas you got someone like my dad who's a one pointer, he's got a disability from waist down. So he could be one point, one half points. It varies. Martin who's an amputee, he varies about three and a half points, so it all varies on your mobility really. Where would you like to be in the future? As a team, I'd like to develop the club, so we've got more than two teams, I'd like to put a junior club in, uh, so everybody can grow into the National League, but I'd like to get some players filter into the GB squad, that'd be nice. 
I've done my level one coaching, so I'd hope to progress and bring the young ones up and you know, keep the club going. But it would be nice to win our league and be promoted. Yes, that's a difficult question because there's, there's two sides to what we do. Part of it is just getting as many people in playing sport as possible because with it being a disability sport, most of the people that you'll talk to that are involved in the club don't do sport. This is the only chance they get to get involved in sport. So as in future, what we want is more people getting involved on a recreational basis, just coming along and having fun and meeting people. Uh, and then on the other side, there's the competitive side, and we want to do well, we want to get promotions, we want to, want to get playing as, as, as top of our field as we can do. Uh, and that relies on feeding new players in as well. So I think just generally more people knowing we're here and more people getting involved is the direction that, that we've set as a board.